Yes, sir. You already know this your boy behaves. We back with another one. Let's go ahead and get right into it. You know, I don't like to waste nobody's time. But before we do that, let's get this video a thumbs up so it can reach more people. Today, we're going to be touching bases on Global Star. That's ticker symbol GSAT. Today, at the time of this recording, we trading at about $2.38. We opened at $2.49. We had a high of two seventy eight, a low of two twenty five. dollars the 52 week high 298 the 52 week low 23 cents we almost blew past that 52 week high just a few moments ago if we could have a little more buying pressure we would have most definitely touched it and blew through it and i do feel as like we can revisit that level that test that 278 level again and possibly break through it i do feel they have uh, some good long-term growth so let's check it out though let's look at the news let's look at the article see what they got to say about Global Star. Global Star announces strategic alliance with XCOM Labs. So they just announced this alliance with this XCOM Labs. So that's what's that's got that's a part of the reason it had this nice spike today. So let's see. Global Star and XCOM will jointly seek to commercial commercialize XCOM's capacity, multiplying technology with Global Stars being N53 for dense 5G deployments in the US and other countries where Global Star has terrorist trial rights. XCOM is an innovative wireless technology company founded by Paul Jacobs. And then XCOM's leadership and talented engineering team helped develop and commercialize many of the technologies that are at the heart of today's smartphone. So that's big. XCOM has got their hands tied in some to right now some of today's technologies that's going on, advanced technologies. They already got their hands tied in this. And they jointly, they, they joined it with G, uh, ticker symbol GSAT, Global Star. So they could they're going to bring some great resources to that company. So that's could that's could be huge. That's already huge. So now let's check it out, y'all. Let's see what the analysts, let's see what they rating this at. Let's see what they got to say. They know what I told you. They like to hate on these companies in public, but they be buying them in private. So let's see. The one analyst offering 12 month price forecast for Global Star have a median target of 55 cent with a high estimate of 55 cent and a low estimate of 55 cent. The median, the median estimate represents a negative 77% decrease from the last price of 250. So they think they think this thing is way overvalued, four or five times overvalued right now. So now that's what they mouth say, but let's see what their pockets doing. So let's check it out, y'all. Increased positions, 41 holders, 10.5 million shares. Decreased positions, 37 holders, 5.9 million shares. Held positions, 39. 272 million shares. Total institutional shares, 288.7 million. Out of 288.7 million, they decreased their position. They sold 5.9 million shares. Y'all see that? Yeah, that's insane. I mean, they, they loaded the boat like crazy. So if they doing this, you know what we need to be doing. This is not financial advice. I'm not your financial advisor. But I told y'all, just use this as your homework. All to get the information from me, the information from them, put it all together. You did your homework. Now make your decision because you the executive. So, but with these, what they telling us and what they showing us, oh my God, 288.7 million shares. Okay, let's carry on. New position. 4.4 million shares, sold out position, 1.5 million shares. So we obviously see what they pockets doing, and it's talking big. Now, let's check out, let's check out the chart. Let's see where a good price would be to enter this for the ones that, that want to get, get in. So I obviously, this thing looked like it want to drop and drop hard. And reasoning being is because I'm in, yeah, it sound crazy, but because I'm in, I'm making this thing drop like this because I got a big, big position. Every time I get a big, big position, 
it drop big, big. So if I was y'all, I'm, I'm gonna help y'all out because my position gonna help y'all and this thing drop. I knew it. It probably pulled back right here to the test this 226 area again. It's gonna go in the red, test that 226 area. And if we break that, we might be in trouble for a little ride down, a little ride down here and test $2 support. We got support at $2 even. So if you wanna get in this, I, I potentially, I strike now, but now is a good price. 238, 237. I give me a few shares. Then if I see this thing pull all the way back, the 226 cents, I get me another little chunk. Remember, I said I always say that firepower, so you can have some fight, some some fighting power to fight. Because when this thing pull back, you want to be able to load up and average cost down. So boom, I get me some more at three at 226. And then if this thing fall to two dollars and twenty cents i load up that last time at 220 and then if we fall and then we'll hold that ride you'll hold the boat you'll hold the line and if, and where you'll exit that you can exit at three dollars four dollars five dollars in the upward train downward train if it go against us and we have to get out you get out of this at two dollars if it hit two dollars we out of there really 199 let it break two dollars first if you break two dollars and hit one ninety nine, we out of there. So that's how we will play this one. So if you like these type of updates, these type of predictions, these type of entries and exits, you already know you found the right place. This your boy B Hayes. Don't forget consider joining the family. Don't forget to like this video. You already know we out. God bless.